Going through the website right now, just so everybody knows, this is this is donorbox.org. If you go to twitter.com slash united for EP, you can get to uh, their Twitter page, and there's a link there to this. I'll put it in the description as well when we put this out, so you'll be able to click on it and support. There's a way to donate to learn a little bit more about what's going on there. There's a video for the Independent Science Fund. I encourage everyone to please subscribe to their YouTube channel as well. As they learn more, I'm sure they're going to be putting out more on that YouTube channel. Um, and and, and let, let's do all we can. Um, then let's talk about the the, you know, the the corporate controlled media. I don't like to use the word mainstream because to me it's all a corporate narrative. And there's nothing mainstream about it. What's mainstream is people actually caring about their neighbors and what's mainstream is the minute people hear about how badly this has been botched and, and how badly you guys have been treated, they want to do something and they want to help and they get angry with their government. That to me isn't mainstream. It's corporate controlled and it's a corporate narrative. So the corporate controlled media has been mum to silent to what? I mean, um, from the large networks to the 24 hour cable news networks. I know there was like a, a, a CNN push. And then when, when Aaron Brockovich came to town, MSNBC was there for a day. And basically have they, have they stayed? Have they reported on anything since? Have they, have they. There was like a solid week. It was three weeks after the derailment when I think we got some really good coverage across um, like uh, Fox, CNN. Um, I think I was on like 10 to 12 interviews in a week. Um, with different big news networks. Um, and every day I had, you know, can you send me somebody else? Can you send me somebody else from all of these different networks? Because once they have your number, that's what they, they want more people to interview. Mm. Um, but since, since then, um, it's been, you know, independently owned networks that have reached out, um, like yourself. Um, you know, that's, that's what we've gotten on, um, we've been pretty booked with some of that because of Twitter and different exposure. But um, I don't think the mainstream media or corporate owned media <laughs> is covering it um, nearly as much as they should be. Um, but there's also, it seems to be a very um, consistent shareholders um, amongst some of that media, as well as the, the railroad company 